In this brief screencast, I want to show you uh, one way that you can combine events and how you would pull those times in uh, for uh, combined events. Now, Meet Manager does have a way, uh, I believe it's from the event screen, where you can combine events. Um, however, I would, I don't, we don't use this um, because we want to be able to have the flexibility at the Meet uh, to be able to make changes. Uh, and if you do it that way, it can kind of confuse things uh, with heat sheets and with uh, parents and such. So what we do is we just build the meet like we're normally going to build the meet. And then the next thing that we do is we look at the um, we look at the heat sheet uh, that we generate uh, to see if there's any opportunities uh, to combine an event. And what you're going to see here is on event 25 and 26, uh, it's a two sets of relays. Um, we can see it's the uh, same age group. It's the six and unders, uh, so boys and girls and boys six and under, and it's the hundred uh, freestyle relay. Now you can only combine events where we have the, or you should only combine events when it's the same age group and when it's the exact same style and length of race. So in this case here, I've got these six and unders, and it's a hundred yard freestyle relay. That's the exact same for both of them. I would not try to combine events of different uh, lengths or of different uh, strokes uh, because you can the, the athletes can get confused when they see somebody doing something different than what they're supposed to do uh, and you don't want to do that. The whole idea about combining events is not to affect the swimmers. It's to help the meet go it a little bit quicker um, and it's also so you have cases where we don't have one person swimming all by themselves. So in this case here, what you can see is I've got two events um, that are good candidates. So I've got a heats, uh, heat one in of event 25 and heat two of, of, or heat one of event 26. Now I've got a total of five different um, relays that are gonna swim here. So I've got three relays in heat event 25 and two relays in event 26. Now, when I first initially saw this, they were all uh, in different lanes. So if I go back over here to meet manager, let me show you what I, what I originally saw in Meet Manager. So I'm taking a, an old race that we did. Um, you can see here that in event 25, we had they were in lanes two, three, and four. And event 26, they were in events three and four. Well, if I wanted to combine the race, that's not going to work because I can't have I don't want to change their lanes um, at the uh, at the actual race themselves. I don't want to confuse the kids. I don't want to confuse the athletes or the lane timers or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is prior to uh, printing the heat sheets, what I do is I'm, I look at the heat sheet and I'm like, all right, this is an opportunity to combine events. So what I do is I first go in to meet manager and I'm going to make a change. I'm going to move everybody into the two different, into all the lanes between the two events so that if I come, if I physically combine them, nobody would be in overlapping lanes. So the way I do that is in event 25, I'm going to go to the adjust menu. And I'm just going to drag, just click and drag these three uh, contestants, these three relays, and then save my changes. And then I'm going to go to event 26, and I'm going to do the same adjust. And I'm going to move them down to, uh, let's see, five and six. I think that's what we did. Let me double check. Yep, five and six. So I'm going to move them down to five and six, and I'll save my changes. I do that for all the combined events that I plan on combining, and then I regenerate the heat sheets. I regenerate the entry list because that's going to change uh, for the kids as well. Um, I'm also going to regenerate uh, the lane timer sheets as well. So I usually wait to do the lane timer sheets um, and, and the uh, entry list uh, reports until I've done these combined events because lanes can change. Okay, so now once I've done that, I then regenerate all my reports. I send them all out. Um, the way that, how would you go through and communicate this to your parents? Well, we have a licensed copy of um, Adobe Acrobat. There's other PDF writers that are out there, but the way that you can go through and you can annotate it like the way we do is um, with a licensed copy, you can make edits to a PDF. So I save the PDF to the, to, uh, the hard drive. I then open it up in Acrobat. And then I'm gonna go over here with the comment option and I'm gonna select that. And then from the comment option, it opens up this, this section that you see here uh, on this toolbar, I'm going to click on this this uh, square, and then I just can draw however I want to see it. So if I wanted to go through and combine this event, I could draw it over here, and then select it that way, and then draw it over this way. 
And then you could use this combined events. I use the text box block right here to say uh, combined event 29 and 30. So you do that and then I'll select it and then kind of resize things a little bit so that it won't overlap anything in the actual meet. So I'd try and do it like, um, this one's a little tough, but if I was doing a combine, you see here where you can, I could overlap like the relay and the seed time. I could have done it for the second race because you can see it's up here. Okay, so that's how I'm gonna make the change to the heat sheets. That's how you combine events. Um, there's no combination, there's nothing done in Meet Manager, if, if you notice. All, everything was done in just the, on, the, on paper, and it's all done, um, uh, and we, say, we just moved people around uh, in the actual races uh, on Meet Manager. Now, what happens now when you're actually running your, actual, you're running your Meet? Well, the next thing that you have to do is that as you're running the Meet, Regardless if you're using what timing system you're using, whether it's um, SST, whether it's Dolphins, uh, whether it's paper, well, the automated systems, SST and Dolphins, what you're going to do is as you're going through and you're, 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 you're running the races, you should also be writing down uh, the number of the race itself, right? So you should also be doing, like when you see um, in uh, Meet Manager or when SST, all the numbers are usually sequential. So here on event 21, we had heat one was 52, 53, 54. And this is something that your timer is doing. The, the person that's running your SST or your Dolphin system, they're writing down the race number that your, your timing system is reporting. Now, what you'll see here is that in event 25, my timer knows I've given him a heat sheet that indicated that we had a combined event. So he went and marked it on his heat sheet as well. And then when we ran that race, it was race number 57. Now, the next race was gonna end up being not gonna be 26, it was gonna be event 27. So what he had to do was that when the race started, he had to make sure that SST, in our case, had incremented the, the event from event 26 to 27. So it was recording things as, as it should. So that now we're making sure that all the races are all being held. I don't have, I don't, it's not expecting two different races showing up over here. Refer to your timing system on how to go through and make that change in the middle of a race. Now, how do I pull those times in? Well, the way I'm gonna do that is over here on, on event 25, let me just double check what, that, what race number that was. It was race number 57, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I normally could just say get times. Now, when you say get times, that's gonna pull times in in sequential race numbers. Because I'm doing this um, after the fact uh, and not during a meet, I have to tell it what race number I want to pull in. So in this case here, instead of saying get times, I'm going to say what race number and I'll click that and it'll ask me what race number. And I'll say, well, it's race number 57. So what it does is it says, hey, here's an alert. These things don't match. The number of results that we got in the timing system and the number of um, lanes that you have that are occupied in event 25, they don't match. Notice here that it found times in the timing system for lanes five and six, and also for these first three times. I'm like, well, that's fine because I wanna pull all three of these times in for these first three. So I'll say accept. And notice here, it pulls in those three times. Now, when I go to the next one on event 26, notice that event 26, it's, I don't wanna say get times because it's gonna jump to event to uh, race number 58. So what I'm gonna do is do the exact same step and say it's 57 and then hit okay. And it's gonna say, it's gonna warn me, hey, you've already pulled data in for this race. Do you wanna proceed? Yes, I do. It's gonna say, well, I only found these two. And this time I say accept again, and it pulls just those times. So now you've got time showing up for both of those and they're treated just like normal. So that way you don't have to confuse Meet Manager with d dealing with combined events. The only thing you have to pay attention to is make sure that your lane timers, that your starter, and the person running your timing system are all very aware that we're doing a combined event and they need to make sure, the starter needs to make sure that everybody's lined up. The timers need to make sure that they write the times down correctly and your timer is always recording the race number. And that's it.